we will talk about how you can manage your rental based businesses in Mikhata to generate invoices month on month as per the billing cycle and to collect payments month on month automatically. So this is for a furniture rental based businesses which gives out furniture uh, based on rents to customers but it can be used for any type of business where you give out something product or a service maybe and you charge a rent or a subscription fee for that product or service okay so i've created new business called furniture rental business on the top i can create as many businesses as i have here by tapping here you can see um, and i have created three customer accounts customer one customer two and three so let's go in to customer one and uh, uh, create a rent collection of a certain product that customer one has bought from us so for that quickly we need to go to um, recurring and in recurring you tap on plus and you tap on recurring invoice so this is the recurring invoice uh, creation screen and uh, here you can enter all the details of the product the price that you connect for the product what date the bill has to be generated in the future and the reminder settings for that uh, uh, customer right all that you can handle here so click on plan that you have here here i have created one sample plan for uh, one year rental and if you tap on that plan automatically uh, certain fields have been populated one of the field is uh, the repeat frequency as you can see the repeat frequency has been set to monthly which means it will repeat for 12 months so suppose somebody has taken uh, a, a rental for uh, a dining chair a dining set so this is where uh, uh, you can configure so in this case i have uh, configured it for 12 months start from let's say um, it started from 1st of November right uh, in the past 9 a.m. okay automatically one year rental the name of the rental plan has been put up and uh, notify customer via so I'm going to notify the customer via SMS email and WhatsApp all three methods billing cycle it is going to be pre billing cycle because I collect the rent and then give the item for the customer Preview reminders, I want to remind the customer one day and three days before the due date, right? So the due date is first of every month, basically, right? And that's the due date here I have set up. And now the main important point, we have not added any item yet. So if you tap on the add new product, tap on product. Here I have configured two sample products. One is a four chair table set and the other one is a six chair dining table set, right? So I can choose which product this customer is taking from us. So in this case, let's say the six chair dining set. Uh, how many dining sets did he take? One or two or three? That also we can configure. Uh, and if there are any taxes or discounts you are giving, you can set here. Press on select. And now automatically the subtotal uh, comes up and how much the customer needs to pay showing up here, 350. So you can add some uh, photos or uh, remarks here if you want to and that's it so now you have entered all the details needed to generate a automatic bill every month for this particular customer so you click on preview and save here you will be able to see all the invoices that are going to get generated in the future the first invoice is on november 1st and then december 1st uh, january 1st so on and so forth for 350 Right. total amount that you will get from this customer is 4200 now you save this and that's it now for this customer the rental subscription plan has been created right as you can see it is for one year rental uh, it's a monthly billing billing date is first of every month nine o'clock in the morning and next billing is done on uh, december 1st now if you go to transactions here you will see that because the first bill date was November 1st, already a past dated invoice has been generated for this customer. So easily if you go to customer screen, 
and refresh you will see that customer one due is 350 right another way of looking at it is we go to invoices screen here all the invoices that are due are shown on this screen so you can clearly see there is one invoice due for 350 right and if you want to see all the customers that are creating these invoices i can see one customer plan for one year rental here similarly i want to just to show you i will add another customer here again go to recurring plus recurring invoice plan one year plan and this also i will start uh, start from let's say same november 1st okay 9 am billing cycle preview billing cycle uh, and then come to products i will change the product to four table set okay that's it and preview it is showing 3000 total collection for 12 months save and now this is also uh, created this has also been created right so now if i go to invoice here i am able to see that there are two customers okay for which the invoices have been created uh, if you type here see two customers invoice similarly if you have 500 customers different 500 invoices will be generated now to collect the payment like what happens now on the due date automatically reminders are sent right and the customers will pay you once they pay you you just have to tap on record payment add a transaction amount received how much you received right you can write attachment if you have a physical bill you can do that right and then you save that's it so now your due amount has come down now it's 250 right so and then uh, one more invoice is due it is showing right you can send a reminder if you want to by tapping the send reminder button if you want to see the details of the invoice you can see the details of the invoice if you want to share this invoice you can share the invoice right um, and then um, if you want to uh, you know download the invoice you can download this invoice right if there is a part payment you can attach part payments also right so all these features are there so every month what you need to do is you click on the invoices you keep track of all the overdue invoices over here which are generated and keep following up with the customer based on that uh, amounts and however you want to sort and filter you can sort and filter and uh, you can take action on this i hope this was helpful thank you